Hi everybody, it's Glade Riven, and guess what I got today? Package from Paizo. So, we're going to do this channel's first unboxing. With a mic, with a boom mic in the way. That's okay. And just this. You get to see all the extra, my ugly carpet. And pile of plastic Gundam parts. That's a hobby. I got too many. So. Uh, what's in the box? Probably Kingmaker. I haven't ordered anything else from him. Slicey. Slicey. Being a responsible person and slicing away. Slicey. I like these. They're nice. And open, open, open. And what do we have here? Ooh. No. <laughs> Packaging material, always fun. Ooh -hoo. First item in the box. Pawns. Pawns. That'll be fun. All right. Second item in the box. Ooh. Kingmaker slipcase. With the adventure path and companion guide. See, there's a lot of stuff um, from my preview that uh, that I didn't order, but I got for free because this took forever. So, and for that, I'm grateful. Free swag is free swag. All right, so, anything else? Ooh, what is this? Skulls and Shackles Goblin Welding Card. When commanding this ship. Huh. I know nothing about this. Make a good bookmark. And packaging. Get that out of the way. All right. So let's adjust the camera. This is over here. What do we got? Kingmaker. So let's get this in turn. See the product. No, this knife is not OSHA proof, but you know, that's okay. I'm not a company. And those OSHA cutters just, I find more dangerous. Just trying to do anything with them, they're liable to break and then. Stab yourself with broken shards of plastic and metal. But this isn't about OSHA regulations. This is about Kingmaker! Okay, so we get the plastic off here. And this is, ooh, this is shiny. Glass finish. Watch it reflects the light right back into the camera. All right, so, slide it out, set the box aside, let's take a look at some books. I'm not leaving the, I'm not leaving anything of this sealed because it's just like I'm planning on using it. I'm, yeah, I'm just not that type of collector. All right, here we go. Okay, now I'm getting buzzed off of fresh from the factory uh, ink. Oh. 
This is nice. I think what I actually really like with this being in print is that it's a bit of an exception to, from a typographical standpoint, a lot of the new stuff from both Paizo and a lot of the 5th edition stuff this is following what 5th edition did and has a lot of white space. This is kind of halfway between, this is about halfway between what Paizo, Paizo do, used to do in 1st edition and, with, and what they do in 2nd edition, where you have a little bit of, it's like you have a little white space, but they do, they go into the graphics on the cor on the edge here. And they really make sure that you get so much in here. That's, yep, got the beast here in the back here. I know. I gotta get the camera angled for this stuff. Well, showing you too much is spoilers. I don't really want to spoil you guys, because I mean, hey, when they come, when uh, ISO comes out with this stuff, you might want to pick it up. You you might want to. It's like you might be have somebody who like me backed it. That you're gonna be running the campaign for. Don't know. But uh, yeah, the whole slipcase pretty handy. With that. Be much less spoilery. Companion guide. I oh, like. It's like this is a great book. Going into here, they have characters from Alcat Games that they brought into the campaign. Hi, bear. Lots of owl bears in this campaign. Well, not really that many, but you can always have more show up. And there's been some other YouTubers that have gone over some details, but there's good quests, you know, more quests in here. Has that new book smell. Goblin bat dog. Bat dog. That's just weird. Okay. Uh, ooh, campsite rules. Okay. Neato. All right, so let's put this back in the way they had it. First the big book. Then we'll have the small book. That'll go nice on the shelf. I'll probably open this back up in about a year and a half, because I usually reference PDFs for all sorts of things, and I'll be running this using online with Fantasy Grounds. That is cool. Skulls and shackles. I forget what that is. But it is cool. All right. Unbox. Let's help pop this sucker open. Lacy slicey. Fun rep. Fun. Woohoo! Pawn stands! I have like a billion of these. I have a billion of these because what happened was is that when Paizo was switching over from first to second edition, I went to Amazon and I picked up all the pawn boxes that I haven't picked, that I uh, had neglected to pick up in the past and like bought 
all of them all at once. And I spent way too much time uh, resorting them by whatever. So I have like a, yeah, I got a lot of these. That's okay. If I need more, I can 3D print more. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Already falling out. They're pre cut. Nice. There's just so much cool stuff in here. Fetch dockers. Ghostly guards. Go fat goblins. Mastiff of Tyndalus, Mud Wretches, Izzard Folk Defenders. Ooh, look at those skeletal champions. Look at the. Okay, this webcam's not that good, but hey, that's that's cool. Troll Hounds, Skeletal Tiger Lords, Web Lurkers. Better cap, what is in your cap? Mitflits. Zills. That's a lot of zills. That's a lot of zombies. It's like I got a row and a half of a row and a half of zombies. That's nice. You can never have too many zombie pawns. A cyclops zombie? Nice. There's, yep. Um, Karstag, Jurgrinder, Nerly Witch. Just begotten trolls, wyverns, lots of wyverns. Troll kings, yep, got troll kings in there. Barb tongue Wervin, nice and big. Oh, yeah, there we go. Jabberwock. A giant whip tailed centipede. A lesser Jabberwock. Ooh. The hoax. Yeah, there it's up. That's my Kingmaker swag. So that's this. That's everything I paid for. So again, uh, another shout out to Paizo for giving me the extra PDFs. So I was able to show in my other preview. But this is my unboxing. Thanks for tuning in.